doesn't look dead. She's dead. Holy shit, holy shit. She's not, she's not, she's not dead. How do you know? She's still breathing. What? Yeah, I was gonna say, the she doesn't look hurt, wrong. really. And she's been knocked down. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad, this is bad. Look we out behind you, buddy. Out of here. Yeah, there's a dude behind you. Oh, shit. I thought I should mention it. Ah! Hey there, friend. No, get back! Stay the hell away from me! Oh yeah, get wrecked by my scissors, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Shit! We had a warning sign telling us not to get punched in the face by that dude, and then it happened. Fuck, we got punched in the face, even though it was dangerous to get punched in the face. Oh crap. Ash! Ash! Oh, Jesus, Ash, what did he do to you? I think he hit me. Shit, I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. <laughs> murder his face off? You do that, Chris. You murder his <laughs> You murder a piece of shit? <laughs> you monster! Oh, We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair! What? Tell me what? It's too late. Chris, what's the point? Stop it, just say. We're always talking around it, and now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? I'm Every wasted. second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what oh, are that's you cute. Saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, oh. I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God! Holy shit! How about that? I will let you die! Hello there, my special little subjects. Oh, shit. Don't be scared. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now. He must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. <laughs> Don't be so silly, Chris. What would Chris do? What would Chris do? We, okay, hang on. I'm just going to pause so I can think about this for a second without so much noise. What would Chris do? He clearly wants to... I think Chris would kill himself, not Ashley, to be honest. Like we, He's just had this thing where he was fucking spilling his gut out. He obviously really cares about her, which is cute as shit. By the way, Josh is 100% the killer. Josh somehow faked all the shit before. Because, you know, you know how I know this with renewed confidence? Like, I was doubting it after he got cut in half by a chainsaw. Because that would generally signal that whoever got cut in half by the chainsaw was not the killer. But he had that line. He had that line when they were outside before. They were standing in the snow. It was one of the, the lines that initially made me think he was the killer. Where he said, like, he wanted... He, he thought, like, if if Chris and Ashley, like, they had to bond over, like, some traumatic experience or something. Like, he used that really creepy turn of phrase. And now it's happening. Right? And they're they're confessing their feelings for each other. So... So Josh is still the killer, even though he got cut in half. I'm really hoping they've got a good explanation. I'm <laughs> fucking. I'm probably wrong, because it doesn't. You need a damn good explanation to make that work. Nah, you know what? I'm I'm going all in here. We're we're putting we're putting my chips in. So I'm I'm just gonna try and call the remaining plot, and we'll, we'll see if we'll see if we get it right. So Josh is still the killer. He used his cinematography training from his dad being a horror movie director to somehow fake his own death in a really convincing way. That was already called into doubt by the, the dialogue between Emily and Matt. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Josh is the killer. He somehow faked his own death, and he, he orchestrated this whole situation. The gun is loaded with blanks. Nobody's actually going to die... What I choose matters only in the context of like the fallout for the the what it says about the relationships between the characters, but nobody's actually going to die. 
Those those are my calls. There's there's something else going on with the plot too that doesn't fully cover it. Like if we're gonna fully call out the plot, we need to think about all the other creepy shit with the. But then again, a lot of that was faked with the newspapers and stuff. But there's no way he went up to the sanitarium and faked like all that shit. There's there's no there has to be at least two killers because the dude at the sanatorium was at the same time as the guy at the lodge, and we're now assuming the guy at the lodge is Josh. But there's also, like, a real killer. And that's the plot, right? Josh Josh sets up this fucking elaborate thing, um, and, and it, it's all gonna come out maybe right after this scene, maybe a little bit later on. But then it turns out there was actually also a real killer. And there's also the weird shit with the animals. So th there, I think there's tears of this we still haven't discovered. Anyway, those are my predictions right now. I thought it was important to take a moment to think about what was going on. As, as we discussed, I think what Chris would do... I think Chris would shoot himself. Because he, he doesn't know all the shit that I just laid out. Well, I mean, I don't even know it. Really. I'm probably barking up completely the fucking wrong tree, because it doesn't... I don't know, it, it would all fit so perfectly, though. Assuming they had a good explanation for how the fuck Josh actually faked his death, because that looked really legit. He's th that's the only thing making me doubt this call, is like, Josh dying looked really legit. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think Chris would shoot himself, considering he doesn't know any of this. I mean, maybe the gun's real. <laughs> in that case, which character do I like more? I like both of them, to be honest. I think Chris would choose to shoot himself, so we'll go with that. Wait! Stop! You can do it, Chris. It should be me. You chose to save me oh, before. Fuck. Let me choose this time. Let me choose to save you. If I do one last thing in my life, let me do this! Chris, please! Oh. oh, God. Um. No! <laughs> do we listen to her? Does Chris listen to her, or does he top himself? Would he listen to her, or would he do what he oh. wanted to do? Oh, God. He wouldn't listen. He's not that fucking sensitive of a dude. He'd do himself. He'd do himself. I know it. You have gone too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? Is this what's actually happening? Did he like kidnap a psychiatrist? Like, so this is Josh wearing the sick. the clown mask, You're a sick right? Fuck. He kidnapped a what psychiatrist. The hell have maybe? You done for them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them, psychopath? Or he's just completely lost scope on reality. That was... What's going on here? I made my calls, but I'm not that confident. Wow, this is weird. This game surprised me a fair bit with the plot already, actually, to be honest. Hey! Check on chat while we're seeing the replay of what just happened. Because I know what just happened. I was playing. Hello? Sam? <laughs> oh, God! Chris, the choice is yours. Hello. Oh my god, we need help, please! Oh! What the fuck? Ah! No! Emily! Shit. 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 Ah! I shouldn't have checked chat. There's some dude in there who's like, he has more knowledge of the game than I do, and he's, he's like spreading the truth bombs. No spoilers in chat, please, because I am I am taking a look at it every now and then. Damn. I mean, he could be. I didn't scroll back that far. Maybe he's guessing. What? Get over. So, Mike, how did he get here? 
she's in the sanitarium now? No, what happened? The last time we saw Mike, he was in that fucking explosion. I guess he got up and walked away? She's in the sanitarium now? This doesn't make any sense. Fuck it. Roll with it, I guess. I guess we're gonna finish this tonight. There's no way I can stop now. She can't see his fingers, so she wouldn't be shocked by his fingers, because she can't see them. Uh, how'd you get down there? Good question. I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? There's a fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> he lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. One of them showed Josh being killed, just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on around here? <laughs> Good it's question, cool. man. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? What the fuck is going on around here? That's that's such a good question. I'm I'm trying to figure that out myself. So the killer left her backpack and the torch. Kind of a rookie move there, murder lord. Unless you don't actually want to murder, of course. But just, you know, maybe Josh is just playing an epic prank to, to get them back for their prank. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. Like, sure, he got ripped in half by a, a giant fucking saw. Like, we can't discount that. Because it's kind of bullshit if the game claims that was fake. Because I... It, like, that movie magic stuff with the gore effects, it doesn't look legit if you're there in real life. When you, you can't do it, you, you can't, it doesn't work like that, man. The better of a damn good explanation of Homer, right? The fact that it'd be so hard to explain it makes me think I'm wrong, actually. But everything else fits so perfectly. Aside from the fact that we saw him die, it all fits perfectly. What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? Do you mind, Mike? Oh, uh, right. My bad. Oh, man, are we finally getting to see the nudes? Are we finally getting to see the nudes? No, we don't get to see the nudes. God damn it. I just wanted to be able to masturbate to this game. And we have all the okay. blood and gore happening, which makes it pretty... Without nudity, it's just not quite there. No, Fucking knew it. No, Neither no, of them's no, dead. The gun was away. blanks. Chris, Chris, Chris. What the fuck? You've heard of blanks before. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> Call it. It's getting Josh. It's so. Boom! I fucking caught it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit, she's still alive. Oh, God God damn it. I thought she was dead. God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we have to make Emily die. Shit. I'm fucking sick of this bitch's oh, shit. We shit. have to we have to get her killed. It's necessary that Emily dies. Damn it. What happened to Jess? We haven't ah. seen Jess in a really long time. No wait, hang on. Actually no, seriously, what happened to Jess? Right, she she got sucked off into the woods and was in that cage. That was the last we saw her. She fell down the elevator shaft. Cause Emily and Jess were the two characters I hated the most. I hate Emily more than Jess. But I also didn't like Jess. Jess can... I, I think we don't hate Jess enough to want her to die actively. 
Emily? I'm, I'm sick of her shit. We're, we're, gonna, we're killing this character if we can. I just, I don't, I don't even care about the roleplay anymore. I want this person to fucking die. I'm sick of their shit. Plus, since we now know Josh is alive, we know that nobody's actually died yet. Why did I complete the quick time event? If I hadn't done it, maybe she would have gotten impaled on the goddamn ladder and been killed. Nah, it would have worked out. Like, they wouldn't let it be that easy to kill the character. How do I orchestrate Emily's death? What's the best way to allow her to die? Just stay there. Just stay there. Let the building fall on you. I'm not pressing any buttons. If this is a quick time event, I'm not pressing any buttons. I want to see this death. Wrecked. Oh, no, 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 he's away. Damn. God damn it. I really wanted to see her die horribly. Really, really wanted to see her die horribly. Oh, God. Here goes 600 bucks. Better be worth it. I look great in that top. Oh, look at my top. is so good. Fuck right. you forever. Now we're talking. Okay, you got you got about fucking ten minutes or whatever. Like this character has to win me over immediately, or I'm going to let them die if I get the chance. Win me over, Emily. Convince me to save your life. Since you're not dead already, I guess you still have a chance. Cause right now I see no reason to do anything to not cause you to like. I I want to see you die more than I want to see you live. Win me over somehow. Show some kind of competence or like good character or anything. Win me over. I beg of you. Because if, if she wins me over, then I'll try and save her and we might be able to get through an entire playthrough of this game with nobody dying, which I'm pretty sure... From what I have read about this game, I believe it's possible for nobody to die, and I believe it's also possible for everyone to die. It would be kind of cool to do like a nobody dies playthrough on our very first playthrough, but right now, I actively want Emily to be dead. Nobody else do I actively want to die, but this character fucking pisses me off to no end, man. He's such a fucking bitch, she treats Matt like shit, and Matt seemed like a cool guy. She was a fucking bitch to Jessica for pretty much no reason before. She's basically, like... I th I'm pretty sure she's, like, trying to cheat on her boyfriend and covering up for it. She's just a fucking shit-tier human being, and it'd be really nice. I mean, if it was real life, I'd try and keep them alive anyway, because in, in reality, like... You know, a human life is worth a lot, even if that person's a fucking cunt. But in a video game context, I, I want to see this character be dead way more than I want to see them be alive. So we can open that door down there, but what's up this way? We, we want to scout out. We don't want to miss any clues or anything. I kind of want to go to the bathroom and get another drink, but as you can probably tell from the way my commentary is progressing, the various levels of deterioration, I'm pretty fucked up now. We're finishing this game tonight at this stage, though. Like I get the feeling we're in the in the final act now. We're getting near the end. We've had a big reveal. There's gonna be more, but... We must be getting near the end. Minor photo. What what does it say about the minor photo in our collectibles thing? Then again, we only just found that, and that's like halfway down, and so far these have appeared, like we've missed a couple, but these have appeared in the order that we found them. Maybe there's a lot more of this game left than I think there is, because that's like, it's a bit more than halfway down, but, so maybe there's more of this left than I think there is. I feel like we should be near the end. Maybe the game's longer than I think. Maybe there, well, maybe we'll get another night out of this one. I don't know. I have no intention of stopping anytime soon, though, so there's that. A photo of a group of miners called the Blasting Crew, taken to Northwest Mines in 1951. They were blasting new tunnels. On reverse, the Blasting Crew, preparing to dynamite the new shafts. 
So these must be the guys who uh, went missing? Or the game showed us that for no reason? See, this one we're about three quarters of the way complete. Aside from the things we've missed. And this, like, we found every single guidance totem except for one. But we missed most of these totems. And this is getting near the end. Sam got herself caught. Chris and Ash, we found Sam. Sam needed to be rescued by Mike. Okay. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. That is all correct. That is all completely true. Alright, let's just get rid of this little thing telling us new. I think at the end we'll watch these videos, because I'm, I'm curious about this, but I think we'll wait until we finish the game, and then we'll watch these. So that will, we're, we've only unlocked about half of these. And these have just been unlocking every couple chapters we get a new... So maybe maybe we're only like halfway through. That'd be cool, because it'd mean the game's a lot longer than I thought it was. Really don't know. We'll see how we're doing. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and maybe get another drink. And I'll check on chat while I do that. I really hope there's not going to be any spoilers there, because that shit makes me upset. I haven't played this game before. I do not. I do not want to be spoiled on things. And Phantom, I, I don't, yeah. Yeah, there's like some things there that I didn't want to know. Like, I don't want to know how she's going to die or that she can change all the story. Please, please, not the spoilers in chat. Can I? <laughs> I'm trying to see if I, because I don't really want to ban him from chat because he's not being super offen. Okay, that was kind of offensive, actually. You know, you can. You can have a timeout. I'm not. I'm not happy with you right now, Phantom. Six hundred seconds, ten minutes. Uh, he'll probably leave the stream in that time anyway. Anyway, that dude. That dude can have a bit of a timeout for six hundred seconds. Six hundred seconds is. I. I can't even calculate. Anyway, I'll be right back.
Yeah, I'm actually gonna... Hang on. This one dude, man. He's he's not... He doesn't seem like a bad guy, but I think a lot of people with the, the spoiler stuff, they're just trying to... Shit. Yeah, okay, I, I, I actually gave him a 24-hour ban. Because... Um... I just don't want to risk, like, y you get people, I don't know, ma Phantom may be way cooler than this, I might be being unfair to him, but you get people who come in and they start doing something in chat you don't like, so you give them a 10 roll mad and try and get revenge or whatever, I mean, maybe Phantom wouldn't do that, I don't know, I just don't want to risk it, because I really don't want to have this game spoiled for myself, I've never played this before, I'm really loving it, I just don't want to risk it, so... If I can give the dude a 24-hour ban, and by that time we'll probably be finished with the game, and then he can chat again. Um, because I don't seem to have any way to ignore or like stop myself from seeing chat without like banning people. So whatever, I'll just do that. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, if you if you actually don't know what happens, you're more than welcome to say your opinion about what you think's gonna happen. Uh, I'm turning off my second monitor now. Can't see chat anymore for the moment. So we're we're really entering the test zone now because I'm about as drunk as I like to get when I play these kinds of games. This is, this is sort of my routine. For me, university and I have some other commitments and stuff as well is super stressful for me at the moment. Like a a couple of nights ago I just I couldn't sleep at all because I was fucking just so stressed out. It's my life's not materially that hard to be queer. Like I, I don't this is so whatever. Like maybe my stresses are kind of trivial bullshit or whatever, but I, I get really stressed out. And the way that I like to relax is when I have like a little bit of a lull and I can afford to to do it. I like to get really fucked up and uh, and play adventure games. Um, and I haven't been streaming this because I thought it'd be too disrupting for me to stream it. But it hasn't been so far. I've been really enjoying it. Um, but now I've actually achieved the tier of drunkenness that I really want. So the question now is, can I still stream while I am as drunk as I want to be when I'm trying to have these kind of relaxing nights? It is probably a little bit unhealthy, the fact that I need to get, you know, paralytically drunk in order to relax properly, but that's where we're at in our lives at the moment, so that's just, I guess that's just the way it is, you know, it, it's all well and good to say, oh, that's probably not healthy and you should probably manage your stress better, but actually doing it is obviously a, uh, a different matter. And so I'd like to keep doing this kind of material on the stream and on YouTube. Because it's really fun for me. I, I love playing these kinds of games, and I like being able to rant at people while I do it. It's fun for me. But I need to be able to do it. For the moment, I feel like I'm still pretty much completely coherent. Which is good. That's a good sign. <sighs> but we'll probably go be going for a couple more hours, so <laughs> we're we're beginning to enter the danger zone. I hope you folks who are watching live are enjoying the stream. I'm sorry I'm not chatting much. It's just because it's a horror game. Like if I was doing Borderlands, I'd probably leave the chat on 24/7 and be checking it regularly. Because it's a horror game in particular. Um, it's really dependent on, you know, the fact that you're immersed and really focusing on the game. So I don't want to be looking at chat all the time. This is how mine super fuse is not how many men were on the mine. In section are missing. The cards had been removed and locked in a safe in the sanatorium. I like how much this, like, it has these updates that are reliant on you having found certain other clues. That's really cool. Wait, that's out of order. So we cannot actually rely 100% on these being in order, because we found this 